we have uh, made some adjustments in the last four weeks of our season that have really paid some great dividends. And this team has really started to grow up. The last four games, we've been a different team. We play tough, we play smart, we close, we don't give up, we come back on teams. For us to do that on this floor, against the veteran Stanford team on senior night it was just tremendous growth for us. I know we didn't get the win, but we had a chance to get the win with the ball in your hand. I'll take that opportunity on this floor anytime. Uh, I wish the season could start all over again, but unfortunately it can't. But this team has got two games to play. And if we continue to dig and fight and defend and play tougher, uh, we can close out this year. We're going to be a much different team going into Pac-12 tournament play. And that's where our focus is right now. What did you tell your players after the game? I told them how proud I was of them. Uh, the fact that we gave up 15 second chance points in the first half. We controlled the boards in the second half against a really physical team, which means we had to play a lot tougher. And they responded to the halftime talk, which was a calm talk of uh, talking what we needed to do. And I told them to be in a position to close down, hunt down this team on this floor, was tremendous growth on their part, and have a chance to win the game. And I wish we had put in more of a ball screen than a one-on-one. -on -one. I think we would have been able to be a little bit more luckier, but that's off the stand. The, the changes that you guys have made, are they mainly schematic or personnel, bringing different guys in at different times or different lineups? <laughs> I don't want to say what they are, but I can tell you they're paying huge dividends. You see a bench that's starting to grow up. Milan Aqua's been great these last couple of games. You see us playing much better defense. We can play three different defenses. We're tougher. And you can just see all of our individual skill development is really paying great dividends for this team as well, too. Drink Bernstein starting to play better. We're doing a lot of good things. So I'm, I'm proud of the way they've been battling for me and hoping we can close out this year in, a, in just a flurry in a big way. It's the best three-day stretch since the Wooden Legacy, maybe? And no question about it. It's the best basketball that Cal we've played since the Wooden Legacy because we moved the ball, we defended, and we closed out the game. And even coming over here, we, we stumbled at times. Uh, they became the dominant team for about an eight-minute stretch that dominated us. Then we became the dominant team the last 12 minutes and ran cutting them down a little bit. And that's just huge growth. We wouldn't have done that six, seven weeks ago. So I'm proud of these guys. I told them all along. They need to grow up this year. It's important that they learn how to close this year, compete this year, defend this year, get tougher this year, and because everybody's back with the exception of Bernstein, and they're starting to do that now, and that's a good feeling right now. They play well. For Drick, is it, is it confidence right now? He's, he's, he's played well the last few games, maybe healing as well, and kind of getting back to old Drick. <laughs> I, I think it's all of those confidence. It's healing, it's old Drick, but it's also you're seeing teams for the second time. And that's why all of these guys, the first time around was outside of those three those three veteran players, Robo and Monte and Malachi, I've got 10 guys that never saw Stanford, Arizona, played at Oregon, seen Oregon, played at Oregon State. Well, we can make adjustments the second time around. Hello, Colorado. Hello, Utah. We're, we're in the game to beat Utah. We beat Colorado. We're in this game. It's just the second time around, they're starting to get more experience, more season now. Veteran basketball team, that's a good thing. I have a non-game question. What's been your reaction to the, all, the, all the scandals, the, the corruption over the last couple of days that came out with Sean Miller and everything it's, else? It's, it's just really tough. It, 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 it really is because that spotlight is on us huge right now with March Madness coming up. And it's unfortunate that everything's popping out now during March Madness. And that because this, this is a great game. And do we have some parts of it that's dysfunctional? Yeah. So the other families, so the football, all of us. And if we can get an opportunity to readjust things, to get it better, make it better, then so be it. Thank you.